Hello everyone! What do all these knives have in common? Of course, you already guessed it from the title of this video, all these knives have a Warncliffe blade. Today I would like to take a closer look at this specific blade shape. It's not very common and if you follow the discussions on various knife forums, people either like Warncliffe blades or they don't. There seems to be nothing in between. First off, let me introduce the knives on the table. Chet Los Benos goes Warncliffe. This is the Boca Plus Warcom, the Warncliffe variant of the well-known Boca Plus Subcom. This little guy is a collaboration work of Frank Santofonti and Ken Onion. It's the Kershaw Onion Santofonti. Then we've got three Spyderco knives, the Spyderco Kiwi 3, the Urban Safety Orange, and a discontinued knife, the Spyderco Santofonti 4. And finally, a small fixed blade knife, which is also a neck knife, the CRKT Minimalist One Cliff designed by Alan Folds. Now, what are the characteristics of a One Cliff blade? First, it almost looks like a standard blade turned upside down. Take a look at this regular steak knife. Here is the cutting edge and now I'm turning it upside down. If this was the cutting edge and if this was the dull back, then we would have a Warncliffe blade. Simple as that. There are a handful of theories about how the name Warncliffe came to be. The most plausible explanation goes back to a British lord in the early 19th century. Lord Warncliffe designed this blade shape around 1820-1830. He was the noble patron of the knife manufacturer Joseph Rogers and Sons in Sheffield. And this company made the first knife with a Warncliffe blade. A Warncliffe blade must not be confused with the sheep's foot blade. Look at this Spyderco UKPK rescue knife. It comes with the sheep's foot blade, or maybe I should say with the modified sheep's foot blade. Let's forget about the spidey hole for a moment. Let's assume this blade had a straight back like this. Then we would have a traditional sheep's foot blade shape. The back of a sheep's foot blade curves towards the edge at the end. It curves down abruptly, which results in this rounded dull tip. This kind of rounded tip is somewhat characteristic of sheep's foot blades. A one cliff blade has a straight edge, like a sheep's foot blade. However, the spine of a one cliff blade is gently curved and the point is more acute. Also, the curve of the spine starts closer to the handle. The dull tip prevents accidental puncture. That's why sheep's foot knives were used mostly by sailors in the old days. When the ship suddenly rolled, a knife with a rounded tip was less dangerous, of course. Nowadays, sheep's foot blades are still commonly used for rescue knives. If you need to cut a safety belt, you don't want to hurt the person you are trying to rescue from the car. So much for the difference between a Warncliffe blade and a sheep's foot blade. Finally, I should mention that there are variations of the Warncliffe blade shape. For example, let's take a look at the Boca Plus small trigger knot. Boca calls this a modified Warncliffe blade. Why? because the cutting edge is not completely straight. It has a slight curve. Now, what can a one cliff blade be used for? The short answer is for almost any cutting task. You do not always need a blade with a belly. In my opinion, a one cliff knife can be used for all kinds of utility work from food prep to wood carving. Let me show you a few short video sequences I recorded earlier.
last example showed that a wand lift blade is ideal for tasks where you are cutting with the tip of the blade, like cutting something out of a newspaper or magazine. A wand lift blade allows for a comfortable, controllable pull cut. There is one thing you should be aware of. If you frequently use a wand lift knife for pull cuts with the tip of the blade, this portion of the blade gets dull quicker than the rest of the cutting edge. Just keep that in mind when sharpening your knife. But other than that, a wand cliff blade is very easy to sharpen because of the straight cutting edge. Alright, this was my kind of introduction video to wand cliff blades. I hope you found this interesting. Please let me know if you want me to do individual reviews on some of the knives on the table. Thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.